This is Vegas Romaniac. It doesn't look like it now, but he will save us all later today. And this is the story how we almost killed ourselves in Korea. So two guys showed up with bald tires, and one guy showed up with a flat tire, and we're off to a great start. You got it, buddy. <laughs> There is the difference between life and death. They don't know yet, but you're gonna have a lot of that coming. It's gonna be awesome. There are some environments where this is particularly true. This inhospitable land is not an easy place to live. Here, your footing needs to be firm, and a head for heights is essential. We could help, but yeah. nice. Here comes Romaniac. Meet the Ibex. They've made these precarious cliffs their own. But for these newborn Ibex kids, this rocky wilderness makes for a nerve-wracking nursery. They spend the first few days of their life at the very top of the cliffs, relatively safe from predators who can't scale these summits. However, at less than a week old, they must leave their playtime plateaus. They're actually thinking about going down and up, even though there's like a 200 feet drop on the left side. Some guys, some trails have an end. I'm gonna say this is the end of this trail, boys. This is ridiculous. They will attempt their first descent of these terrifying rock walls. Their mother needs to find food. Now, the steep terrain that has kept them safe can turn treacherous. Their mother leaves the way. The kids are understandably tempted. Best way straight? Yeah, just stay over here. And then just drop it down, huh? Down the way. This is where we have to get down to. Crazy. Made for just this purpose. Yeah, believe it or not, this is the trail. Welcome to the trail of hell. This. Where we went down 
and just came back up. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. Slowly, they picked their way down the sheer rock faces with cleft feet that spread wide, exposing rubbery pads that gripped the rock. Their mother shows them the best route. She's done it hundreds of times before. Gradually, the kids start to get the hand it, but they need to focus. One slip could be their last. Started at nine o'clock, two guys had a flat tire. Now it is 4.30. We ran out of water years ago. And we still have a little bit to go. You know what? The trail. Now it's five o'clock and we're still going. But it looks like we're gonna make it to back to the house and survive this last of fuck. But anyways, thanks for the ride boys. I'm gonna take a week or two off. It was a bit harsh today. Alright, how do we get out of here? Wait, right. give me this one moment. So. I just the washing. No, okay. We can go there. There's just one very steep hill part where we need to lift the bike over one more time. And then we are right where the rocks start. When you rode this last time, you were by yourself. Which yes. way did you go? I went up because I couldn't make it this way. Well, let's go that way. Yeah, I went this way. So right through the middle? I went where's here. We came down the middle of that, didn't we? Yeah, whatever works up there and then we are home free. All right, let's get out of here. Trail there? Yeah. 